Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use interface mocking while writing tests in Go. So I'll show you a scenario first and explain why interface mocking is necessary. So what we have here is just a user struct and each user has an ID, name and a bool which is which shows if the user is active or not. And then we have this data store interface which has this function get user by id and that takes id as input and gives the user as output and if the user doesn't exist then it gives an error and then we have this function which we want to test so this function is implemented by this user service struct and this user service struct has this data store interface so this function is called is user active and it takes this id as input and then what it does is it calls the underlying get user by id so you see this interface uh, this user service has this interface and it has this underlying function get user by id so it just calls the underlying function gets the user checks for error and then simply returns if the user is active or not so we are interested in writing test for this function okay so writing the test will involve implementing this interface right because in this function it is just calling the underlying function of the interface but it is not defined anywhere and in the real world it will be defined so here we have this data store which can be like a database so you may have a user database maybe a sql database or something and there that actual concrete implementation of this interface will have access to the database so to give you an example so let's say i define a struct called real data store and then that struct implements this interface by creating this function get user by id and then it would interact with its database and then finally it will give uh, either an answer or an error so this is an example of how a real world implementation may look like but if we are writing unit tests then actually having an underlying database will be tedious so if we are mainly interested in checking the business logic then we don't care that much about how the underlying implementation of this function looks like okay so we are more interested in the rest of the business logic happening inside this function so that's where mocking the concept of mocking comes into picture so we will simply mock this interface and then we will carry on with the rest of the logic so here is an example of a struct which mocks that interface so we are calling this struct mock data store which has uh, a map of users so as i showed you in a real world case it may have an actual database in this case just for mocking sake we are having an in-memory database the form of a map and here it implements that uh, interface by simply checking if the user exists in its map and if it doesn't exist then it simply returns uh, an error so that is an example of mocking here so this mock struct will be used while writing the tests so this is the test for this function is user active so we are initially defining that mock data store which is defined here and we are defining we are initializing it with some users so one user is uh, active another is inactive so now we have this mock struct which implements our interface so now we are defining the service the uh, user service which is supposed to have a have a store okay so we are defining it and our store is that mock data store and now we can test it out so now we are calling whether uh, this user is active or not by giving some ids so here we are calling uh, we are checking if uh, id number 1 is active or not and then we are checking if id 2 is active and then we are checking if 3 is active so we are checking all three cases so one case whether it is whether it is active whether it is inactive or whether it is whether it doesn't exist and now if i j just run this test i see this test is passing so what just happened here we were interested in testing a function which calls the underlying function of an interface but we are not just interested in that part we are interested in the other business logic as well so we mock just that part 
just so that we can proceed with the rest of the logic. So we didn't even have to define a real data store uh, with real database and all. And still we were able to properly test or unit test the whatever business logic we wanted to test. Okay, so this is a quick example of how you can mock an interface while writing unit tests in Go. Usually these are done in case of database or in case of HTTP calls where it's not that straightforward to have the actual real world implementation of an interface. But we are interested in testing the rest of the logic anyway. So mocking gives us a very good framework for that.